This morning, the State Department is working out a schedule to release Hillary Clinton's private email from her time as Secretary of State. A judge rejected a plan to release them just before the 2006 presidential primaries. Nancy Cordes is in Cedar Falls, Iowa, where Clinton answered reporters' questions on Tuesday for the first time in nearly a month. I want those emails out. Nobody has a bigger interest in getting them released than I do. Clinton spoke I after a federal judge ordered the State Department to begin releasing the 55,000 pages of Clinton's emails on a rolling basis, and not all at once next January, as officials there had proposed. Of course, we take our legal obligations seriously. We'll comply with the order. First, let me. Thank all of you. Clinton's four and a half minute exchange with reporters came after she wrapped up a roundtable with local business owners at a Cedar Falls bike shop. Hey, are you all ready? She took five questions, including one that has tripped up several Republicans lately about the war in Iraq. As a senator, Clinton voted to authorize the 2003 invasion. I've made it very clear that uh, I made a mistake, plain and simple. But she punted when asked about foreign fundraising at the Clinton Foundation and whether it posed a conflict of interest. Do you regret the way that the Clinton Foundation handled foreign donations when you were Secretary of State? I am so proud of the foundation. I'm proud of the work that uh, it has done and that it is doing. It attracted donations from people, organizations uh, from around the world. And I think that just goes to show that people are very supportive of the life-saving and life-changing work it's done here, at home, and elsewhere. Clinton's Republican opponents weren't satisfied. Basic Ethics 101 would tell you that it's a conflict of interest to take money, to have your spouse take money from foreign countries at the same time someone's a Secretary of State. That's Nancy Cordes reporting from Iowa. Nancy tells us the judge gave the State Department until next week to present a plan for rolling out the documents as it reviews them.